Okay, it looks like it saved me a vagrant box and Laravel. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Vagrant and Homestead on your local Windows machine. I know I have created this kind of video earlier too, um, but this one is updated, this one is 2016 version of how to install that particular uh, Homestead version. So let's get up and running. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the vagrantup.com. Now. Once you are over there, uh, looks like it's a little slow. Uh, so once you are over there, just hit on this download button. Uh, let's just hit on it, and okay, it gives me a lot of options. So now it includes Mac OS X, it includes Windows, it includes Debian, it includes CentOS. That is, it includes nearly each and every version of uh, operating system. Okay, so I'm going to download it for Windows. It, uh, it is nearly 160 MB, maybe. Uh, yeah, it is 160 MB. Uh, just go ahead and install it. There is no, uh, there is a uh, just a normal installation process in there. Uh, once you have installed it, make sure you have got VirtualBox installed too. So just go to go ahead and hit this URL virtualbox.org. Once you are over there, just hit on download VirtualBox 5.0 and download it for windows hots it is available for both 32 bits and 64 bits so you don't need, really need to care about whether you are really on a 32 bit machine or a 64 bit machine so once you have done both of these things make sure to restart your computer and proceed with the next steps so the next step that we want to do is go ahead and open up cmd well actually we can do this or i can i simply prefer git bash so another thing yeah that's what we require just go to git-scm.com and from there just download it for windows and you can download a 32 bit or 64 bit whatever that may be i already downloaded it so i'm gonna cancel it up uh, and let me just go to the laravel website um actually i don't really need that uh, so let's just go ahead and open up git bash Alright, so once you are over there, just put in their Vagrant box and Laravel slash Homestead. Now let's just hit enter. It might take a little bit time depending upon your internet speed, internet connection. Uh, so it might just take a uh, little than uh, one hour to maybe even a few hours more it's nearly uh, one gigabyte of file so it might take a little bit of time it will ask you to enter your choice so just I uh, uh, hit virtual box so I have already downloaded it uh, so I don't really need to download it again all right so the next thing that we want to do is uh, let us go ahead and set up homestead over here so I just want to go to my one of my folder I'm going to create a new folder in here and how about naming this folder uh, let us say recordings and uh, I'll be creating uh, I'll be opening git bash over here and uh, as you have installed git dash scm so uh, it's just going uh, it's just going to make sure that git command works so now what you want to do is go ahead and hit git clone https make sure that s is over there that's really important github.com slash laravel slash homestead to homestead directory all right so it's cloning into homestead now Alright, so once you are in that directory, just go ahead, right click and open git bash over there. Now, the very important thing that you need to do is just go ahead and hit composer install. Well, most of you say, what if I don't install anything? Let's just check. If you hit php homestead just now, it says a kind of warning, it gives me an error. So if I hit composer install, 
it should install a few dependencies it will make a folder for me named as vendor and now if I hit php homestead it should show me some sort of this thing Laravel homestead some sort of version uh, it's adding some uh, Linux style endings actually I don't really want that uh, maybe I, uh, I did a few more settings while installing mine GW okay so let's just hit control L to clear the screen so next thing that you want to do is go ahead and dot slash init dot sh so now it's asking me to override because I have already made one file before uh, so I'm just going to hit enter 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 and homestead has been initialized now here is the path to my file so that's kind of weird path because slash c in windows there is no such kind of thing but it is there so let's just go to users c users aditya and here's dot homestead directory now i want to edit this homestead.yaml file so now i'm just going to hit on open select a program and i'm going to choose notepad in here okay that's kind of weird how about editing it with uh, maybe I'll be editing it with wordpad don't always use it uh, so it will show it correctly now okay so now that you are over there so you will see a kind of things over here so very very important things that you need to do so it is giving you uh, the virtual box memory of 2048 megabytes that's nearly 2 gigabyte of memory now if you are on a cpu which has already has a uh, 2 gigabyte of memory and you are giving all that memory to that fucking virtual box homestead box then it's going to be really awkward because uh, giving the whole memory to that that means you are not using your cpu anyhow so I love it to keep I love to keep it at 500 until though I have 4096 megabyte of memory that is 4 gigabyte of memory maybe yeah um, CPUs one well if you have a multi-thread CPU uh, uh, means that means that your CPU has got more cores uh, that is uh, it's a quad core processor it's a dual core processor well actually mine is just single core processor so I just love to keep it at one so it's authorization key now this is another very important thing so to generate the ssh key what you need to do is go ahead and open up git scm and type in ssh hyphen keygen space hyphen t space rsa space hyphen c and type in there whatever you want now I can type in here aditya at the rate homestead and just hit enter it will generate so uh, it will ask me where to save this file I'll just hit enter no passphrase no passphrase and that's it I have generated a RSA key and now you are all set up to gen uh, with this thing so the next thing is folders so where do you want to map the folders to so it's a really important thing if you have a Laravel project you can simply go ahead and put it in here uh, so what I'll be doing is I want uh, to map the folder let's say the folder is named as uh, it's in my e directory let's say and I have named it as uh, recording backlash and let's say I have named it as Laravel so that's from where all of my Laravel code will be coming in and when it will be inside that virtual box it will be mapped to slash home slash vagrant slash code so that's will be that will be the default directory by the way uh, so the next thing you can add by the way many as many folders as you want so that's a really important thing that's why people love to use homestead you need not to make a second box every time you are using vagrant uh, when you are using vagrant uh, most of the time they they prefer that you are you will be making another box for a new website for a new project for a new folder and that takes a uh, lots of memory uh, maybe nearly uh, somewhere between 5 to 6 giga uh, gigabytes 
so uh, I love to keep it in this way just map the folders over here so the next is slides over here and you can map the slides now I hope so uh, so just go ahead and map it to homestead.app. I, I don't really care about this thing now if you have got a new thing over here uh, Let's say it's a code uh, and uh, it has been set to Laravel. Well, actually what this means is that la In my code directory, there's a directory named as Laravel now I have mapped this directory to the Laravel and now inside this directory I have got another Laravel directory and inside this I have got the public directory is what that particular thing means in the site section so what you need to do is just go ahead and map this particular folder to that particular folder so I don't really care about that thing uh, so whatever you will be there in this directory you can simply map it over here and you don't really need to care until unless you are a pro about these things here the black fire it's a kind of profiler um, that uh, Laravel uses so you don't really need to care about these things so now you are done with this just save the file and close it now the very very important thing go ahead and hit the start button and type in there notepad and now right click and run it as administrator so once you are done with this just hit on file open and I want to open up the host file now just add in here 192.168.10.10 now remember this was the perfect IP address that we had set up in our another file which was named as uh, uh, homestead.yaml uh, so and I'll I'll love to make map it to homestead.app maybe that was the URL I hope so so once you have mapped this file just hit control s close it and uh, you are up with that so let me just go ahead and open up git bash in that particular directory again in my recording homestead right click git bash and once you have opened up git bash just go ahead and put in there vagrant up sorry it should be vagrant up and it should turn on that particular machine now maybe it will take a little time depending upon your machine so while this is going up uh, it might show you a few warnings maybe it will ask you to uh, a few network privileges and a few of the privileges by virtual box so just go ahead and hit on yes don't really care about that it might even give you a firewall uh, give, uh, would you like to give the firewall access to that particular thing so just go ahead and hit on allow access so once it will be done you will be seeing that this is what it goes like you should see all these kind of different weird messages now if you are really into the programming already uh, you might not uh, it might not seem weird for you um, all right so now that is done you will see that it has got that machine up and running now let me just go ahead to the local disk e and go to my recording Laravel, Laravel, public, and I'll just create in uh, a text document over here and maybe name it as index. Um, well, maybe not. Let me just go ahead and open up Notepad and let me just type in some random HTML stuff. I'm just going to eat it, put in their body. Uh, some sort of weird text I don't really know I have not really set up my uh, Laravel project yet and I'm just gonna save it to local disk e recording Laravel Laravel public and I'm just going to name it as index.html and all files save it close it now that I have got it and I'm just going to go to my Chrome browser um, and just go to the homestead.app and you should see that particular page that we have just made 
so uh, that's all about this video uh, well it's just mapping to the public directory by the way um, so I've just created a random files in there and I've done it all so thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for more